guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ekaiti Gary. If you're new here, <laughs> welcome. If you're new here, this is the best time. I mean, this is 2021, so yay, happy new year. But also, today what I'm talking about is 2020. I know like everybody has been putting up posts. Oh, let's leave 2020 behind. Let's not even talk about it. Okay, I was on break. I didn't have a chance to vent. So let me just do my thing and then we'll move on to 2021. Okay. <laughs> so today we are going to talk about 2020 lessons. Honestly, like I feel like every day of 2020 was like, oh my god, lessons learned, uh had shinies, like different emotions all over the place. That was 2020. But I'll just try to restrict the lessons to 10. And you will see again when I pick one, there'll be other lessons within the other lesson, like you know, because that's just how human beings are. Most of the lessons for me on my list were inspired. Okay, not to use the word inspired, despired if that's the word, but that's what motivated the mm, motivation. Okay, because what brought about these lessons is mostly the pandemic, which was unfortunate, and also we lost a lot of people in 2020. So one of the first things that I learned was that you should live your best life now, you know, because one thing I noticed, there were a lot of people who died, like they died young and most of the deaths were like unexpected and even the way the pandemic happened, you know, certain people were waiting like, oh, I'll do this in 2020, not knowing that there'll be a pandemic, you won't be able to travel, you won't be able to go on vacation and stuff. So I learned that, you know, whatever, within your means, just live your best life now. And living your best life now is not about money, honestly. It's about like enjoying every moment. That's what I was going to say, like, you know, you can have just beans and carpenter in the house, eh? But then, there's one person who will be like, ah, the beans now, nah, well, with a painter. You know, just boil them with my beans, this, not even. And then there's someone who will just be there, like, you know, they had some tomato colors in the carpenter, the shiny, you know, the beans just looking nice over there. That's what I mean by live your best life now. Like, just enjoy your every moment. And that's one thing that I personally am all about. If you know me, you know that I like enjoying my moment. Like, no matter where I am, whether I'm like in this nice hotel or not, I'll eat the best food, whatever. I'll just try out things and whatnot. You take me to the village, then there I'll just be like, oh my god, like, let's experience climbing a tree. Okay, I don't need to find this, but if I like doing that or if it's boring, there's nothing to do, I would probably try it. So just live your best life and then be happy. Like, I think that's one of the things, like, a lot of popular people, like, the popular people that we lost, like, I just took time and just, like, went through their lives and everything, and then I saw, like, it's not really, like, you know, living a life where you're just, like, always giving, like, like, you're not living according to what makes you happy, like, just enjoying, just what, it's not really good, because you never know when your time is going to come, so just live your best life, like, enjoy every moment, you know, there'll be sad moments, there'll be happy moments, but when you can have fun, and enjoy your life, just do it. Then, the other lesson that I learned was don't sweat the small stuff. Honestly, before the pandemic and before life 2020 happened, there were just like certain things that you would like be worried about, ask so many questions on, but then now I've just realized like, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Just don't sweat the small stuff. Just like, you know, bad things happen, and sometimes some bad things that happen, you never know why. Like sometimes you want to relive like, oh, why did this happen to me? Why did this happen to this person? But some of the ones that you ask, you won't be able to find the answers to those things. So, and then while you're trying to find the answers to those things, another thing is going to happen, and you'll be trying to explain that thing, then another one, then another one, then another one. The next thing you know, you're maybe in depression, or your mental health is not at the best place. So it's very good to just like when certain things happen, also like when certain things happen, just try to deal with them. Ask yourself like, can I deal with this? Can I not deal with this? Can I hand this over to someone else to deal with? So that you move on to the next. Because obviously there'll be another issue that you sort out also that you can just uh, just continue living life. Because again, the other thing is life doesn't even happen. Like life doesn't wait for you to, to sort out your issue. It's not like the whole world will be like, Sekai is like trying to sort out her life. Let's wait. Me the next thing you know, like for me, I have a daughter, you know, next thing you know, it will be like out there maybe sorting out something else. Next thing you know, she's 15 years old and you didn't enjoy time with her. So just like life won't stop like and say, oh, this person is now going through this. Of course, it's good to deal with certain things, but oh yeah, deal with the things. That's the thing. Like you have to deal with them and not just wait for like life to happen to you. Then the other thing that I learned is let it out. 
and I'm very good at talking and I've seen that it's a good thing. Like for me, I'm really, I like talking. I think it helps me. I don't want things inside. The only bad part I've seen with that is that, like, you know, I'll be sitting next to someone. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm close to them, but I'll just say it. But one thing you should remember, like, about talking, one thing I've realized about talking to people about stuff, once you say, just remember that it's already out there. You know, it's already out there. Don't start worrying, like, oh, I think this is not going to that person. You know, sometimes people just say stuff, like, if there's a discussion going on, okay, yeah, don't mind the book. That's 2020. That thing I said, 2020 things happening, yeah, don't sweat the small stuff. That's just the book. Yeah, so just if, like, find people that you can talk to, also know who you can talk to, have people that you can actually talk to and let stuff up. Even, I think even virtual people, you know, no, there's certain people that just talk to social media, I think it's okay. I've vented out to someone on social media before, uh, it didn't end up bad because it was fine. Yeah, then the other thing is don't compare yourself. One thing that I've learned because I've, in the past two years I've been going through stuff, stuff, and like I've opened up to people, and me opening up to people has made me realize that, like people would also open up to me, then you realize that, you know, uh, nobody's life is perfect like everybody's going through stuff but some people even with all that they are going through they still show up so that's one of the things that i've learned like just always show up people people and those people who always show up people think like oh now that person always shows up so their life is probably perfect no they've just learned to show up you know those when they will sleep and they tear more they are all they all have stuff that they are dealing with but then they just show up so you also just learn to show up just remember that it's, don't compare yourself, just do what you do, just be you focus on your focus. That's like one of my favorite phrases of 2020. Focus on your focus. Then the other thing that I've learned is don't leave for other people. That's something that I used to struggle with. I think I still struggle with a little bit, but just don't leave for other people. You know, certain times you'll be like, oh, uh, I want to do something, then you'll be like, how much is anyone on the plan? No, just think like it's what you're doing right for you according to the knowledge that you have the Christian that you are and everything. What you're, is it right what you're doing? Is it good for you? People will always talk. I remember somebody said that's why there's always news. Like they, they will never be a little bit like, oh, we apologize today, there's no news. Because there's always something to talk about, right? So just don't live for other people because at the end of the day too you want like you want you have to learn personal responsibility right so you won't have time to be like oh um like you can't always blame people for what happens to you you can't always blame people for what happens to you so you have to you know just do stuff because you want to do because you believe that that's the right thing to do then the other thing number six i love this one is go digital honestly going digital is i just go digital like so I've been pushed to go digital this year because at towards the end of the year, I always have a diary, like from work or from, I always have a free diary and I don't want to spend money on a diary. So like me going, like just, going digital is just the best thing. Have your plans for digital stuff. Like learn how to do social media, learn how to do digital marketing. Also certain things, oh, that's another lesson. Like you don't have to do everything on your own. Just because you have to, do digital marketing doesn't mean you have to now do it on your own. It's good to know, have the know-how, but if you don't have time, you can always be someone to do it for you. That's why money is also important. Which brings us to the other lesson, which is that the, I've realized that the, one of the biggest resources you can ever have is people. And secondly, money. But people actually more important than money. Look, you can have all the money in the world, then you say, I want to use this money for this, and there's no one to collaborate with, or I want to order stuff and sell these things and there's no one to collaborate with like this year has been amazing in that there's certain times when i didn't have the resources that i needed but because i had people around me it was able it was able to be done is that correct english yeah i was able to do something because of people even if i didn't have the resources that i need then the eighth lesson is people are people hmm? People are people in Osaka, you understand what I mean. People are people like don't put so much expectations on people, don't put so much like like don't put like don't let like, that's not your life, your whole life just depends on people or a person or what. Just remember that people are people and people also are really change. I'll just leave it there. Then the ninth thing is um 
things won't always be the same. And this ties to the first thing that I said about living your best life. Because things won't always be the same, the people that you are with won't always be there. I mean, one of you could travel to the US or while you are there. So just learn to enjoy the people who are around you at that moment. Enjoy the resources that are around you at that moment because things change. I'm telling you. Even if I say things are permanent, like let's say a house, a house is, it will always be there permanent. But it will be changing it that there will be trees going around it, some dilapidation, some innovation, some beautifying and whatnot. So things will always be different. So just enjoy whatever is around you in that moment because you don't know in what direction it might change. Then the tenth one, my favorite, is know yourself. Like take time to know yourself. Just take time to know like what do I like? Do I like food? Like me, I like food. Do I like talking? Again. Just find out what do I like? What kind of music do I like? It's just nice to know yourself and also know your why. Like whatever you do, know why you are doing it. Why are these friends here? Why are why, why am I friends with this person? And also like on relationships, people will bring like most times, most of the time, like when you have a friend, you must know what they bring to the table. In that friendship, and what you also bring to the table. So just know your why in everything in business, in friendship, relationship, business, YouTube. Why are you watching these videos? You want to support me? No, I don't mind why you're watching. Just watch, okay? But yeah, that's like my last thing. And also, if you guys have any lessons that you learned in 2020, I know we learned so many lessons, or your biggest lesson, please comment it in the comments. <laughs> Post it in the comments down below. It's been long since I did YouTube. I'm not forgetting, but yeah, post it in the comments down below. Remember to share this video with your friends. And yeah, happy new year! I'm so excited to be back. Bye. <laughs>